Well, hey, what's up, everybody? I want to uh, kind of tell you about a place that I went to. I went to go see Marvel uh, Endgame uh, on opening weekend, so it would, be, would have been Saturday. And I went to a theater called um, the Alamo Draft House. Now, uh, the Alamo Draft House was an interesting place. It um, was very, I would, it was different than any movie theater that I've been in. It had a kind of a, uh, it had a bar. I went to the one in Tempe. It had a bar. As soon as you walked in, it had a bar. The lobby was done kind of bohemian. Uh, they had um, a comic book st store set up, uh, you know, with tables and whatnot. And they brought all these comics about Infinity War and Shazam and different things to sell. And I thought that was very cool. Um, the theater was, was kind of small compared to the big chains. Um, and they had a, a kitchen. Kind of interesting, right? So uh, we kind of milled around and looked at the comics. It was very cool. I went and looked at these movie posters that were kind of, you know, you know, uh, eclectic or, you know, just kind of off the beaten path films maybe you've never heard before. Some I have. Some I love, like Big Trouble in Little China. Who doesn't like that? Uh, and then we went and got seated in the theater, right? When we got seated in the theater... And I noticed they didn't have, like, the corporate cookie-cutter content uh, that you typically see. They had their own stuff that they made. And they were doing this thing called, uh, you know, the Marvel Universe Phase 1, Phase 2, Phase 3. Kind of getting you up to date on what was going on. And um, it was really cool. And then a waiter came down and, and said, you know... Want something to eat and drink, and my son wanted to get some popcorn and some different flavored popcorn and water and whatever you could get. They had a full kitchen basically, and you had a table set up so you had these reclining chairs, and a table was set up so you could order, and they would kind of you know bring stuff to you water, drinks, beer, whatever you wanted, and you could eat there and watch the movie. And then the power went out. It was chaos. It was the biggest film of the year with the most passionate fan base I've ever been around getting mad. <sighs> oh man, oh baby. And so we stood in line to get a refund and this general manager who you know took it in the shorts on sales, he's going to have to answer like why in the hell did you underperform uh, Alamo Draft House, maybe get generators. <sighs> And he was handing out his business card saying, I can't give you a refund, but if you tell me what you have, I'll make sure I'll write it down on my in here and, and we'll honor it. We got up there and it was four tickets. Four tickets. And he wrote it down. And, and my son said, will, you honor, will this be honored over in Chandler? He said, I don't see why not, but good luck getting in there. So we kind of sat and talked. And my son had to go uh, back to Phoenix to let the dog out. And I said, we'll go down to Chandler and see if we can get these seats. So we drive down to Chandler, which was probably 20 minutes. I would say about 20 minutes away. I get to Chandler. I walk in, and now there's something completely different happening in Chandler. Uh, they didn't have the comic shop, but they had cosplay people there, and they had, you know, all kinds of just stuff, right? They had the stuff. And, and here's a video of, of them cosplaying. So uh, 
I of course I get my picture taken, and you can see that in the community section. I put my picture up there with with the cosplay people and paid them a dollar. They were taking donations for a charity. So I go up to the clerk there. His name was Danny, and I said I explained the situation to him. I hand him the business card. He flips it over and he looks at it. And he looks at me. He looks at the warrior queen. He looks at the card. And there's probably a four minute pause of him deciphering what should I do? Is this legit? What the hell is going on? He said, hold on, let me see if we have any seats left. And he pulls it up and there's eight seats left. And as he's pondering whether or not to accept this, I'm watching their little digital board, a seat disappear at a time, like the Thanos snap. Joop, joop. So we go eight, seven, six, five. And then he says, yeah, okay, you guys seem like honest people. We'll honor that. Uh, these are the only four seats. Yes, yes, take them, take them, take them, take them. Do, 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 do. So we get in, right? We get in, and we go sit down. And um, I got to say, I was, I, was, I was kind of impressed with Alamo Draft House. There were some good things about it. There were some bad things about it. Um, the, the dude at Chandler was super cool. Even the general manager at Tempe was super cool. They were very customer focused. It's kind of neat that you can have, you know, a, a meal there. It's expensive, but you can have a meal there if you wanted to or a beer or whatever. And when you go and you get drinks, it's it's bottomless. The popcorn's bottomless, so they keep bringing you stuff if you ever see your server again. Uh, we saw them a couple, although we turned ours away. We were like, no, no, just get out of here, dude. So that's probably why they didn't come back. Um, it's very bohemian. Um, so <laughs> You, you will see a lot of uh, uh, bohemian-style people there. It was very uh, eclectic and bohemian. If that bothers you, you will not like it. Uh, there was a certain aspect of it that I enjoyed because some of the stuff like the comic book display, the cosplaying, it was more of a, an event. It felt kind of like a Rocky Horror Picture Show movie theater kind of thing, you know. Um, they don't like kids in unless it's a specific film. That's kind of interesting too, because I don't know about you. I don't if you've ever gone to a kid with or gone to a kid with an unruly movie. I, I, I mean, go to a movie with an unruly kid can kind of suck. That's taken out of the equation. Now, Danny was outstanding. The guy who let me in. The one the one critique I would say about uh, about the Chandler location is uh, when you when you go to the theater, you could see the kitchen. It was pretty dirty, dude. Like, there's, I was, I told my wife that I would not order any food out of here. Uh, you know, you, you'll probably get very, very, uh, you know, um, you'll probably get very familiar with your local urgent care if you do. Um, you know, my son got some popcorn and uh, some drinks. I, I ordered a coffee and they brought, they brought the coffee out to me and it was room temperature, you know, and I was like, Am I going to get a sore throat from drinking this? I don't know. Uh, but overall, it was kind of a neat thing. I'll try them again. I won't eat there. Just because, dude, I <laughs> looked in that back room. It was wide open. And you were like, you know, people with no gloves on, touching stuff and trash everywhere. Like, hmm, I'll pass. Uh, if you go to the one in Chandler, go to Moreno's. It's just right over. They're really clean. Um, so overall, it was a really cool thing. Give it a shot. I think if you like Bohemian, if you don't like Bohemian, you're going to hate it. If you want to try something different, uh, this may be the thing for you. The, the customer service was great. Everybody was friendly. Just got to clean up that kitchen channel. That's all, folks. I'll catch you later. Peace and much love. Only our Indian friends who are well-versed in the history of Indian films will get this outro. <clears throat> Freedom! Bada 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 freedoms bada 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 bada